ZS Tile from Zep Solar offers the industry's fastest and least expensive way to install PV systems on tile roofs. ZS Tile minimizes roof attachment points, eliminates the need for long length mounting rails, requires very few parts, and simultaneously accomplishes structural and grounding connections. It is designed to connect with various types of third party tile hook and standoff attachment hardware. This video demonstrates a ZS Tile installation on standard tile hooks. ZS Tile utilizes ZEP compatible PV modules that are manufactured with ZEP Solar's innovative ZEP Groove frame design and are designed to receive ZEP Solar hardware that locks into the ZEP Groove. Visit zepsolar.com for a list of ZEP compatible PV module manufacturers. The core components of ZS Tile include the spanner clamp, the spanner bar, the bar sleeve, the cam foot, the inner lock, and the ground zep. The upper portion of the cam foot contains a rocket which has a key side and a tongue side. The key side rocks into the zep groove and the tongue side receives the zep groove. Inner locks contain zeps which are also designed to mate with ZEP grooves. Once the PV array mounting area has been established, the perimeter of the array and the rafter layout are marked with chalk lines. Tiles are then removed at the selected attachment point locations. Third-party tile hooks are then installed according to the manufacturer's instructions. Tiles are reinstalled after code-compliant waterproofing measures have been taken. Next, the first two spanner bars are mated by inserting the male portion of the lower spanner bar into the female portion of the upper spanner bar. Two spanner clamps are then slid into the spanner bars to their desired locations, and the assembly is lowered into place at the east end of the array, with the spanner clamps aligned with the tile hooks. The assembly is then secured to the tile hooks with the supplied carriage bolts and locking flange nuts. Next, the third spanner bar receives a spanner clamp, is mated with the middle spanner bar, and is secured as before. This process is then repeated on the west side of the array. Once both east and west side spanner bar runs are installed, a string line is run between them at the lower edge of the array to help align the remaining lower edge spanner bars. The spanner bar installation process is then repeated for the rest of the array. Once all spanner bars have been secured, bar sleeves are installed at the upper end of each run of spanner bars by sliding them into place. Next, the first row of cam feet is installed along the lower edge with their key sides facing down roof. A cam foot is installed by inserting it into the groove of the spanner bar and rotating it 90 degrees with the Zep Solar flat tool. Once the first row of cam feet is installed, the first two array skirts are coupled together with an interlock and an interlock spacer. An interlock is installed by inserting its key side into the ZEP groove of the array skirt at a 15 degree angle and then rotating the ZEPs 90 degrees with the ZEP tool so that the timing marks of the tool align with the marks on the top surface of the interlock. Once the first two array skirts are mated, they are rocked onto the tongue side of the cam feet rockets at the west end of the array, and jams are inserted into the tops of the rockets to prevent the array skirt from rotating. Next, the third array skirt is rocked onto the cam foot, an interlock is installed at the seam, and jams are inserted as before. This process is then repeated for the fourth array skirt. The array skirt is finished by attaching the array skirt end caps to the exposed edges of skirt using the two provided screws. Once all the array skirts have been installed, the first ZEP compatible PV module is dropped into place at the lower west corner of the array. This is done by resting the ZEP groove on top of the tongue side of the rocket and rotating downward. A cam foot is then mated to the upper edge of the module by inserting it into the spanner bar groove at an angle sliding it towards the module frame, and rocking the key side of its rocket into the module's ZEP groove. Then the lower portion of the cam foot is rotated 90 degrees to lock into the spanner bar. 
This is then repeated for subsequent modules, and interlocks are installed along the upper edge of each module. This process is repeated for subsequent rows. Finally, a ground zip is installed at the perimeter of the array to receive the array's equipment grounding conductor. This completes the mechanical installation of a ZS Tile PV array. For full instructions and more information on ZEP Solar, visit zepsolar.com.